What's going on? Ah! What? Wolf McGee? Where is this place? I don't think we're on fall damage anymore, Wolf McGee. Hello, hello, folks, and welcome to Fall Damage Server 1. This is the original Fall Damage Server. Let me just change my settings. This is the original Fall Damage Server. We had to switch maps due to terrain updates. I think for episode 1, I would give this one a tour. Grab my things. It's out of my endo chest. So, figured I'd give you a little tour of here. So let's go, Wolf McGee. Who won't sit up. Or can't be hurt. Okay, I guess I'm leaving Wolf McGee here for today. I will see you later. I just need to grab some minor stuff since apparently I don't have any of my ender chest. So, this map we have, because of the fact it's so old, we had to have a bunch of command blocks set up so that you see everywhere. We made a hub and all that for that. Over there is Sarn's Village and Boat, but I'll show you that later. And so, this is the road leading to the spawn castle that C Mason and Mason built. This map started in July 2012, if I believe I'm correct in the dates. And it lasted until June 2013, in which we switched it out for a new map, which is the current map on the server, which all episode 2 will be focused on. But I just figured I would give a tour of just, you know, the first map for my starting of the fall damage. I have been on fall damage since November 22nd, 2012, I believe. I'm not too sure on the numbers and the dates of all that. Sorry if there's any lag in the video. I'm having a little bit of trouble with my recorder. It's now the most the most laggy part of the server. There is enough redstone in this castle to, uh, I don't know, fill a castle with. <laughs> oh, I'm so good with analogies. So I figure I'll give you the start of my fall damage. I joined fall damage on that date, I had said, with my friend JCK Skeleton. He comes on occasionally, but not as much anymore. He immediately went and picked this house, because he Mason told us, you know, pick any house you want. So he picked this one. Using his turn, turn down a bit. This is his stuff. And since this is a single player file of this map, I'll be grabbing some of these for convenience. He had some pretty good items. A lot of enchanted books. And some fireworks. You know, some basic stuff. I don't know why. I'm... He, has, he has some chests hidden down here somewhere. That's where he put his valuables. He didn't play on the server, on the server enough to have too many diamonds. Mailbox. This is a... This is just basically a village, like, gigantic village spawner It lags out even anyone's game. So I'm going to get out of here as soon as possible. This, I don't know whose house that is. This is the Sleepin' Inn. Nice little establishment. This is my house. Once I moved out, I put a sign saying it's haunted, don't move in. I basically grabbed all my stuff and moved to my new house. Yeah, so that that's the spawn. I'm they're looking really choppy here, so I'm gonna go and get the heck out of Dodge in this one. Sorry, I can't really give the castle a former tour, but... 
having some issues. I've always had issues at spawn because it's just so much active redstone that nothing can handle it. Command block. And no more lagginess. So, this is the command block thing. This is where all the people on the server at the time had command blocks hooked up. Some, like um, OMG what and collateral damage, never added, made it on the server. Some like me has, some like me, Mason, C Mason, Galax, Galax Man doesn't come on much, but some like me, C Mason, Mason, Nicholas, Sarn, we all play on the new server frequently. JCK, I explained that before. But yeah, I'll show you in here. This is to a map, Mavilia. That is s s Nick basically told the story with his world, and that's that's that. The cargo hold is for the. I don't think we ever ended up actually putting stuff down there. The mushroom biome, my pride and joy, and the deep fire mine, something I I joined and that was abandoned, so I just took it over for maintenance. That's the to the end for the ender ender. That's to the spawn point, and that's to the castle. We've already been to those two. I guess I should start off with my base, shouldn't I? My primary base was the mushroom biome. 8,935 blocks from spawn in these X coordinate, and 3,851 on the Z coordinate. This was a long walk before. Basically, my plan was to get some villagers over here. But there was a glitch in the current craft bucket that we were using at the time that would not allow villagers to go through ender portal portals or nether portals, so I was screwed for the build. I'm, I'm going to come back here and fix it up one day, but these are just... I was planning on splitting it up into a rich section, a poor section, and a medium section. But obviously we changed maps, so that wasn't allowed to happen. There's more over there, my favorite build on the server, or one of them is over there. And I was planning on giving this a story too, and I started writing it up, but then we switched the maps and never got to finish. My story for this was going to be a strange meteorite hit a tropical island, turning all of the people into mushrooms with a few surviving, which are scientists trying to study to help them. This is Mason's base he built over here. He never ended up coming back here. This was the start of Galaxy Man's haunted house he was going to build here, but he never, again, map switch. <laughs> Now, as the story goes, a strange meteorite hits on this island. I will show you the spot that the meteorite hit this tropical island. It was quite a devastating, very quite a devastating meteorite hit. This is a little picnic area. The scientists managed to create a small serum that allowed some patches of actual grass to grow over this treacherous mushroom grass. These are all the mayor's items, i.e. me. This was advanced storage. Things like wood, saplings, cobble, and everything you see there. Let me go up here. And now, the mayor lived here next to the mayor's brother, whose house was the victim of the meteor strike, and was the first to turn into the mushroom that affected most people on the islands. Only two scientists were left until they died from, you know, being only two people left, he can't live that long. And they never got to figure out the cure at this island. But maybe we can go, maybe one day, we'll be able to go to the ruins of what of their lab once was and come up for a cure for these poor people. So, let's head to their science lab. This section of the island, crossed by the dirt, er... Uh, or now mushroom grass. This was their testing facilities where they tried to turn these mushroom creatures into things other than the mushrooms. They do alternate there are in the end they all they wanted to do was turn them back into humans, but all they succeeded were turning them into cows and sheep. They're never able to turn them back into the villagers they once were, but they figured anything's better than a mindless droning mushroom. And up here is the remnants of their science lab. Before they passed, they were wishing to create little safe spots where they go bomb shelters so where if they spotted another meteor hitting, they could go under and be safe. But alas, they did not get them built enough and they lost to the meteors. 
This is the Triton Research Facility. I believe that the authorized personnel is no longer allowed. They have bookshelves full of their research of ones they once were able to create, but no longer is it any help to them. <coughs> Down here is where you can see their current specimen. They're attempting to turn into human. Do not release the test subject. They cannot do much help now. Too bad, these people were once a great surviving civilization, and now they are this. So, now that this island is done, let's check out Malvia and the great Chipacanria. The town ruled with an iron fist by King Lord Chipacanria. Now we will go back to the airship hub, which will lead us to the all great and powerful Malvia. Also known as Nix's out. One of Nix's several bases. But in this video, I'm only, in part one, I'm only showing you the story intensive parts. So to Malvia. This is his little town. He has several books based on it. Maybe one day I'll come back and do more readings on it. Lord's District. This is where the Lords of Malvia stayed. Looks like Chippa was not very happy with them. This is the gardens. Very, very pretty. Over there is the castle for worship of the great Chippa but now, let's go check out the great... Let's go see if we can make a visit to the great Chippeconria. <coughs> <coughs> I believe this is the correct portal to him. Ooh, 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 what do you do in my land? Just here to visit. Okay, then. Make a sacrifice. Make an offering to the great Charn Charnakian. There you go, you can add the blocks I don't need. This is Nick's base. He built a large spiraling tower, but again, never finished. That's the problem with it. That is the Stargate, never finished. I will. There's not really much else I can show because the rest is all unfinished. Sad. Not many people got to finish their bases. And there, one last final location to show, and that would be the Great Church of Charcoaliania. This is at the base of, also known as Seamason's Base. He spent his time building the palace. Farms of such. It took me a long time to find this base, too. Just chests. A smooth stone generator because this ca this palace required a lot of smooth stone. So let's see if we can under pearl up there. And no, we did not. Let's try at least under pearl onto the ladder. Hey, got some lag here. Lovely. I think it's just the problem with the map being. Ow. I think it's the problem with the map being from an old version of Minecraft, and we are using the newest version of Minecraft. So, this also featured my favorite prank on the server. And I'm not aware if Seamace never took it down, so let's find out. Drum roll, please. And he took some of it down. I came up here in these platforms and built tons of mooses to make this the Church of Moose, not Charcoal and Liana. This was, this is quite possibly my favorite build on the server. Actually, this, I, not, it's not this, I would, would be the spawn castle if the spawn castle didn't cause massive amounts of lag due to the active redstone. But alas, this is another build that was yet left unfinished. I'm sure that, w I'm sure that one day the Lord Chipper Conria from the server will be happy. 
see you in part dos. Actually, no, I'll keep going. Actually, no, my timer has hit 15 minutes on the dot, so I believe this would be a perfect time to end part one. See you next time where we explore my base. And I think my base, my base and Sarn's base are the only two that are only two left. Uh, maybe I'll go to the end. Okay, next time.